Alright, so uh, if you were at the rehearsal dinner last night, I'm Andrew. I've known Trip since the first grade, and I went to the College of Charleston with the both of them. Now, if you do know me, this will come as no surprise. I have some disclaimers. Trip gave me free reign to say whatever I want. And Olivia said if I was nice to her, that would be weird. That being said, there will be language, and if you have a problem with that, suck it up. We don't have problems. So, I'm going to start this off with a three second moment of silence, so everybody can just quiet down. I'm going to count down. Everybody ready? Now, if you were listening closely enough, you could hear Olivia's heart rate raise to about 120 beats a minute because she has absolutely no idea what I'm going to say. Now, if that doesn't describe me and Olivia's relationship, I don't know what else does. Having said that, the first time I met both of them as a couple, Tripp told me he was seeing someone, and I made my monthly trip to the library, probably just to print out event tickets. Um, and they were in there studying probably an hour six or seven. Um, they both approached Trip very confidently as we've known each other for a while. Um, and Olivia, with the posture and voice of someone who I can only describe as academically gifted. <laughs> Even then, like everybody else, it was very obvious that they were very good together. And I think I always knew that one, they would be together, and two, I would be telling that story of everybody. Now, as the best-ish man, um, I feel it is my responsibility to tell you a little bit more about the beautiful, blushing groom. <laughs> now, if you're here, it is hard to not know about the many accomplishments of Trip Key. Um, most recently, federal clerkship, uh, is it Cali Awards, let me say that? Law School Awards, and he had his law school article published. Does everyone say it? Correct. Um, but, so essentially everything Trip touches seems to be a success, so there is still hope for most of you have met this evening. But the, the largest accomplishment, I think, for Tripp, is having someone agree to marry him after watching him eat something without utensils. Tripp, I love you, but you hold things like they're going to run away, and I refuse to eat a hot dog with you. Now, as I said, most of you know Tripp by his success. In high school, he was a varsity athlete and won many awards, class president, all the way through. But there was a little gap in time, freshman year of college, where some stories might surprise you. Now, I'm not going to go into specifics because I was jumping off the cliff with him. Uh, but I do have an excellent story for you guys. Now, as I said, Trip kind of looks like a guy that tucks his shirt into his underwear. <laughs> but freshman year, he was ready to go. So he showed up to my dorm, ready to campaign. He was going to go door to door, introduce himself, and tell people to vote for him. Uh, he walked in on probably 10 to 15 people, um, not drinking responsibly, to put it lightly. Um, as a true politician, Trip hopped in. Ripped a couple shots and started going door to door and talking to people. And after that, Trip was more than welcome in our room. He would help us with our homework, and we would give him, we would give him a Hollywood-esque idea of your freshman year of college. Now, for those of you who don't know, when Trip drinks, there are three things that happen. Trip talks in the third person. <laughs> He changes his middle name, and he has as much confidence as he absolutely deserves, which for the normal man would be pure arrogance. 
So over the course of a couple ounces of liquid, Jesse Lee Keith III turns into Trip M.F. Keith. <laughs> And you can only really imagine where that went for about a semester and a half. So, I love both of you guys equally. And that's a big one for you, Olivia. You're in that hard way. But here's to trip, motherfucking Keith. <laughs>